looking up the list of top 100 scariest games of all times, and this one's almost guaranteed to be on it. Hey, I am the Game Collector, and this is Second Opinion Games, and today we do a review of Alien vs. Predator for the Atari Jaguar. Second Opinion Games do you want a killer app for your Atari Jaguar? Well, Atari did, and then that's why they commissioned Alien vs. Predator to be made. And killer app indeed, because this is not one, not two, but three games built into one, all through the view of the subject. You could be playing as the alien, as the predator, or as a totally bad hombre space marine. And I'm telling you what, guys, this game really stays true to the source material, even if it's to the detriment of the game. See, in the Aliens franchise, you really don't know where you're at on the ship at any point in time, or if you're on the planet. It's sort of confusing, and supposed to make you feel claustrophobic, and that death can be around any corner. The game takes all of those aspects and shoves it in there as well. It makes for a great intense experience, but it kind of hurts the gameplay because you're always feeling lost and you never know where to go. There is an on-screen map that just shoves it right in the center of your screen, but that takes away some of the visual effects and is really annoying because it rotates like crazy with your character. Normally rotating maps are okay, but if I'm trying to follow along with a map that's in my hand while I'm playing the game, it makes it nearly impossible. Can you imagine spinning the map in your hand at the same time you're trying to play the game? It's just not going to work. On top of it, it is really scary. And I'm not kidding. That's because nothing makes footstep sounds, so it's not uncommon for an alien to sneak up on your back and stab you with its tail. If you're playing as a predator, it's a little less scary because you are the ultimate killing machine. However, death comes at a pretty high price. Same with the Colonial Marine. The alien's probably the easiest and you're most vulnerable at the start of the game before you lay any eggs inside anyone's chests. But once you get the hang of it and you do the slash tail slash attack, then you could plant an egg in someone's chest, and you have to wait about two minutes for that egg to be ready. Then, when you die, you appear where the egg was. And that would be good, except sometimes it could be all the way back to the beginning of the game, and add that with the map issue of trying to figure out where you were and how to get back there, and the alien mode is rather difficult just because of this alone. However, you don't have to impregnate people with the cocoon egg. You could just attack with the B button, which is your face. And your mouth is a horribly devastating attack in this game, mowing down space marines and the predators alike very quickly. And it is very satisfying. The aliens portion of this program is absolutely great if you could just figure out how to get from point A to point B without using elevators because the aliens can't use elevators. The Predator portion is like your arcade mode. Basically, you're trying to score as many points as possible. You use points by killing the enemies on screen with your bare hands and not being invisible when you do it. Because you're on the honor system here, and being invisible while you kill someone makes you lose honor. It's all about the sport for the Predators here. The more points you get, the more weapons you unlock. The more weapons unlock, then you could finally move on to kill that alien queen, and then the game's over, and you win. And that is pretty darn good, because you're going to be mowing down tons of space marines, sneaking up on their backs, and throwing your disc right into their skull. It is a great time. The sound effects that the Predator makes is all spot on. You could even use the night vision goggles and different stuff that the Predator has as disposal, and you really feel like the ultimate killing machine here. You also have the ability to heal yourself, assuming you find the right alien med packs that happen to be scattered around. This is very true to form with the Predator, 
And I can't believe it took this long to make an awesome Predator game. And it really hasn't been duplicated like this since. Moving on to the Space Marine, you wake up from your cryo tube and you're thirsty for blood. You pick up your shotgun and before you know it, you're mowing down massive amounts of aliens in no time. But be careful, there could be a Predator waiting for you around the corner and he is really difficult to take down. If all you have is a shotgun, you better run and not look back. The Predators will always become uncloaked before they attack you. So use this to your advantage and take off running when you hear his voice. Yeah, they'll always give themselves away by saying something like, anytime, just like from the movie, or the crazy clicky noises that the Predators make. The Space Marine portion is by far the longest, with a lot of Metroid-esque backtracking, collecting key cards, which are always found on dead bodies laying around. And it becomes extremely difficult. Luckily, you have three save states, but it's really hard to play this game, guys. The learning curve here is through the roof. There are so many aliens. When you kill them, you have to worry about walking through their acid and not knowing where to go with maps that make no sense. Even if you have a book with all the maps in it, I mentioned before how hard it is to use the maps in the game and chances are unless you have a lot of time to devote to the game you're really never going to see the end unless you have the cheat codes on of course which then make the game a lot more fun and killing aliens is just awesome mowing them down with infinite ammo is always a good time the sounds are all great. There's no really in-game music, just the hum and the vibrations of the ship you're on, and occasionally you'll hear when a predator sneaks up on you. Or you'll hear the space marines start firing their guns if you're the predator or the alien. It's basically, your gun sound effects sound good. The predator sounds are all clean. The alien sound effects have some nice snapping effects. And I'm telling you, all the sounds are absolutely great and very fitting in this universe. I just wish the frame rate was a little better. And that's really the elephant in the room here. The frame rate is about 15 frames per second or even less. However, if you play the game for a few hours, you'll eventually start looking right past this. And it's not so bad. However, some of the environments all start looking the same and makes you feel even more lost than you already are, and that's rather difficult. You could go into the vents, but there might be some aliens in there where you kill them, and then you have to walk through the blood, losing even more health, and that becomes frustrating as well. This is not an easy game. No matter what mode you pick, you are going to be dying so many times and probably not having the best time doing it. Unless you are really loving the Predator franchise and the Alien franchise. Then you're probably going to have a terrific time with it, even if you're never going to finish it because of that difficulty. But that's just my opinion. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching this video, and if you enjoy the Atari Jaguar, and who doesn't, well, look back. I have tons of videos ready for you already. I'm working my way through every single Atari Jaguar game, and I'm getting through them as fast as possible. I have a couple more big ones to go, so make sure you stay tuned, and thanks again, guys.